Uh, Victor, just that first half today, uh, I thought the team looked as good as it has all season. Your thoughts? Yeah, for sure. You're right. I think it was great performance for everyone. Uh, but <laughs> even that, I think uh, you, you can see when we get uh, casual, we concede goals so, so easy, you know. Of course, the performance was amazing. All the guys were working really hard. We knew that uh, it's 11 games, that it was 11 games to, to go, and we have to win at home because we were conceding many goals at home. We were losing many games at home, and today we show that we are there, that we are uh, a great team, we are a good team, but we have to start the games on this way, like aggressive, with confidence, and trusting in each other. We're going to do mistakes. Everything is going to be sometimes not as you want it, but today was a, a great performance from, from everybody. Victor, it looked like you guys were comfortable in the formation, 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3, however you want to sort of mm -hmm. put that out there. Um, is, is that, do you think, the best formation for this team? And maybe you can talk about Kevin and Sam on the outside providing so much speed, a lot of width, and, and some, some great finishing yourself as well. Yeah, what we try always is we want to, to dominate the, the midfield, you know? And the last few games, I think, we were playing more like kind with many strikers maybe, you know, and because I, was, I wasn't there, also other guys, they, they, they were injured or whatever. But when we are like three players on the midfield, I think we play more comfortable. We play faster, we move the ball faster, and also the, the strikers, they get more time. And then also they can make this kind of run like, like Kevin and Sam they did today. And then everyone is playing like more free, I can say, because we feel like this is our way. Also, Greg, he knows already, and we know already he prefers to play with three midfielders, midfielders because that's the way uh, we want to do it, and today it works. And hopefully now also with Ricky, it's going to be even better. Hey, Victor, what was, what was the attitude of the group coming off the street? You guys had a pretty tough stretch here lately, but what was the talk in the locker room heading to this game here? Yeah, the talk at the end, it's always the same. We have to believe in each other. And when you are like, we got uh, these two losses in Dallas and then in Kansas, that again, you are trying to come up, but then, then you drop again. It's hard because the confidence, you lose the confidence again. And I know it's hard because it's almost not the end of the season, but it's only 10 games to, to go. And what I say always, we have to keep believing on us. It's all about us. It's not about the other teams. It's about us. If you perform good, you're going to win games. And today, we show it again. Hey, Victor, I heard that your, your son is here visiting you today. <laughs> you got a goal uh, yeah. as well. Um, first goal this year, I think? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so tell a little bit about your son being here and also scoring the goal, maybe. Yeah, for me, you know, it's first time to have my son here. I'm so proud. Uh, also, he bring me lucky. First time he's here, I scored my first goal of the season. Ah, and yeah, I'm so happy, so happy to have him, to be with him around here, to spend time with him because it's it's hard when you you have your son back in in Barcelona. It's so far. It's the first time that we are not together, and it's hard. But now it's time to enjoy together. We are enjoying together. He's enjoying. And when he's happy, I'm happy. That's it. He's turning nine in 30 of August. What's his name? Leo. Hopefully, he's he's doing well in Barcelona. He's playing. He was playing at the school. Now he's changing maybe to another team. He's scoring a lot of goals, and so happy for him. Also, he's doing good. We're gonna go on Zoom with Charles Boom. Charles, if you can hear us, go ahead. Hey, Victor, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I, I know you've talked a lot about Ricky the, these past few days, um, but I wanted to ask you what you think he brings to the table uh, in the this, this system that you showed today um, and, and you, your knowledge of him as well. Like, Can he lift the collective that we saw today to, to another level, perhaps? Yeah, of course. Everyone knows Ricky Puch very well. Uh, he's one of the talented players that uh, Barcelona brought the last couple of years. He's going to bring a lot of great things. He's a young player with a lot of hunger. Uh, he's intelligent. He's smart. He plays fast. It's going to be great for all of us. You know, we need some players like that on the team because the way we are playing playing soccer is the way that Ricky also likes. And then it's a good uh, addition for sure. Hopefully next week he can get some minutes. 
And for sure, we are so happy to have him here, and we're gonna try to help him as fast as possible because he's only 10 games left. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully he brings this, this quality to the team and this also hunger and also coming from Barcelona, for sure, he's gonna come with, with a lot of uh, energy and a lot of also like belief and everything. In Spanish,